So Jenny Livingston, so you were at Norfolk from Yale in 83. And just, That's correct, Just yeah. tell me like what you thought of being there. Yeah, I so wanted to go. So this is the thing, like I became an art major late and uh, I really wanted to go to Norfolk, and, but they were like, do you say Norf, like do you say folk? Well, they say we folk. don't, we don't, we don't folk. drink, we don't smoke, Norfolk. Oh, exactly. So I want to go, and, um, but I wasn't allowed to because I was graduating and they said, well, you are graduating, but if you come back and do another year of school, you can apply and get in. And I did. And I came in even after I graduated. But it was fantastic because it was art boot camp, you know, and you just mm -hmm. did nothing but art. You lived art. You breathed art. And, you know, it was printmaking, photography, painting and drawing. And I remember, like, Andrew Forge was really mad at me because I like to stay up really late. Like, I always stay I still stay up really late. And he, 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 he said, you know, that's very... He, I don't remember the word he used, but he basically said it was it was rude of me to assume that I could do that. And I was just like, I'm young, I can do that. I need three hours of sleep. Like, what? didn't want me to paint late at night. But I, I loved it. And I kissed a girl for the first time and there. I mean, everyone was on the make with everyone, but we didn't do anything because we were such good art nuns and Although I, and I saw some of your photographs from skinny dipping at the pond. I don't think those were mine. I think those were, were... No, but they said you had... Um... I took some, but you haven't seen them. Oh, I okay. Them. I've like... Then they were super. Those are gyms. Those are gyms, those are right? Gyms. But he said you had camera lights and stuff. I had the camera, you... I had the flash. We went skinny dipping. And, you know, it really was... I mean, it was funny because everyone was... Everyone was on the make and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So there was this tension that only like, you know, students who are excited and life is new, um, and we were all falling in love with each other, but just basically channeling it all into prints, photographs, and... Um, and how important do you think it was like being in, so you were an art major then, by then at Yale, and what was it like just to meet other, like that at that age? I mean, it was yeah. amazing, and I mean, I had become an art major late, mm -hmm. and then, um, you know, don't put this in, but uh, I won the Sudler Prize, which was like the art prize at Yale, and then, but but I come to it late, and I was like such an art nerd. Like all I did was like go to the dark room and go to the studio and make drawings. I loved it so much, but I hadn't really met the folks. So this summer thing was like a way to meet the folks and be with the folks and see the people nude while they were swimming and kiss the folks. <laughs> and it really, um, but I mean, I think the value was to be immersed. You know, just four classes where all you do is go to the studio. You draw outside on plein air, and you walk around the woods, and some of my friends like tripped on acid, I didn't do that. But it was really um, like art school for the Yaleys, but just summer and just hard, hard, beautiful work. I mean, I still have like wonderful memories of what it was like to stay in that funny little house that belonged to the town person and just go do that all day. I, I mean, it, it, it absolutely should continue to exist for future generations of students and people making work. Mm, thanks. Yeah.